Come here now, girl. Hello and welcome to What's Map, your one-stop shop for everything workshop. I'm Bomb Bombi and you're very, very welcome. Well, today we've got a map which just jumped off of the workshop in the week where we have already reviewed three quality maps. This one does not disgrace itself at all. It stands out as being something a bit different, a bit special, uh, definitely playable and classy in its own little ways. A lot of good work gone in here. Unlike me, I forgot one specific thing. The thing that I was most excited about by this map, I forgot. So I'm going to talk about that during the review and give you a chance just to, in your peripheral vision to appreciate the thing that I forgot to record. Now you can see it, it's all over the map. You see it now, it's all over the map. Pretty impressive when you consider that. It's my first map. That's right, and I remember to put the sting in this week as well. Woohoo! <laughs> it's gonna be a good show, which can only mean one little thing. That's right, liking the like button is liking a life itself. <laughs> Thank you for your support. Today's map is Calderon Bay by Adista. There's double A there, so I read it's a Dista. Alan, maybe? <laughs> Adele? <laughs> anyway, Adistar is how I'm going to refer to you. There's your start square. Um, it's a vanilla wishbone. It's fine. There's plenty of enough builds more space in there to get started. The terrain heights, it's a beautiful caldera. It is actually very beautifully done. Uh, resources are good and strong for a vanilla game, which is very handy when this is actually a vanilla map, this one. Uh, fishing if you've got Sunset Harbour, we actually have all of the fish, if you look in the little mouth there, the little mouth, yeah, there's the salmon and the tuna. <laughs> and then off to the workshop, what do we need? Well, absolutely nothing, it's 100% vanilla. We'll be using uh, the realistic temp, sorry, no, we haven't, we'll, we'll be using the vanilla temperate theme and the realistic 1.2 Lux, because we always do. And then down the ground level. Let's get it out of the way. What did I forget? Oh, road and rail run parallel with each other. And anything out of the 25 tiles on the 100% vanilla map doesn't matter so much. This clunky bit of rail here doesn't matter so much. It still matters. Listen, you're not getting away with it. It still matters, but it doesn't matter so much because it's out of the 25. Anyway, uh, tree painting. The tree painting on this map for 100% vanilla, for a 100% my first mapper, is delightful. Just all credit, okay? Just all credit. In fact, if you want to see good vanilla tree painting, have a look at this map. Just just light the map up and just have a look at it. It's simple. It's just simple. It accents the map beautifully, the way the rail of the road, but done in a pretty smooth way. Uh, it accents the map beautifully. We've got a reasonable amount of tree blending. We've got a good tree mix using just vanilla trees. And it's pretty decent. I know a few of you are going to say, oh, they've got the ugly vanilla trees. Look, just shut up, okay? <laughs> just shut up. These new ones are very new, and who's to know exactly when this map was made? It could be made two years ago, and they've only just got the bravery to upload it. Who knows? Or they might just really love these vanilla trees. Okay? Just, just leave them alone. Pick on somebody your own size, which is probably not me, because I'm not a very statuesque physique. I'm stocky, but not very lofty. <laughs> I can see those non, uh, non-bilingual non or trilingual people <laughs> quickly googling what is lofty. What is lofty? <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, the uh, the highways are of a pretty decent standard. They're of a slightly higher standard than the rail, just slightly. And my only major grumble with the highway is I think I would have liked it to have gone around the, uh, the caldera a little bit more than it does. I can understand why it doesn't. Uh, I can see the uh, gameplay argument that some of you will throw in there about, no, I want to build the highways around to the other side but I mean half the map is covered by highway and then half of it half of it is kind of wild so again I, I could I can see the argument there's there's nothing wrong with asking players to um, build their own highways and yeah I mean my last map exactly that I didn't provide any highways at all so I can understand it I just on this particular map I just feel 
I would have liked it. Uh, yeah, especially with the standard of highways that we've got. Now we have the vanilla wishbone uh, in a reasonable location. It's an ugly intersection that hasn't really been worked with the move it tool or anything like that. It's fine. It's going to do the job. It's a 100% vanilla map, so 100% vanilla intersection. Kind of fits. Kind of. Doesn't mean I'm going to like it. <laughs> it kind of fits. Anyway, uh, heading off now towards, I would say this is it. This is the, the one highway in the, uh, the Spirit of Sanctum Gamers map pack. Have you seen my four map reviews from the map pack? Have you? Yeah, all of the, all of the Sanctum Gamer maps have just the one highway on it. So you're in a very good company having just the one. Yes, a bit of terrain glitching between the two highways there. But again, we are moving away and out of the 25 tiles by this point. So does that matter so much? Again, yes, it does matter. But does it matter so much? No, not really. Not so much. We're going to see worse. We're going to see worse. But again, the worst that you're going to see is out of the 25 tiles. So does that really matter? I think that that bit of glitching was in the 25 tiles, to be fair, actually. We we're still quite a, quite away from the edge of the map by that point. But it was just a little bit of glitching between. It's just the road height alignments. There was just a bit of a difference there, causing the zigzagginess. Now, we have a couple of rail. You saw one of them, uh, which peeled off, but I didn't mention it because I was talking about trees, I believe. And then we got another one. Again, this just feels a bit awkward and a bit forced. Just a bit, given how beautifully well done the highways were. I mean, I don't have an issue with this particular rail line as such. It just doesn't feel as natural as the highway. Does I, I don't feel that they would have built this. Simple as that. I mean, maybe they had to because we've got a factory down here um, and we've got a port down here, which we'll look at in the second half of the show, which will be here right after this intermission. <laughs> My very best work race day. So proud of that, you know. <laughs> anyway, shipping route's got one in the corner that loops around a little bit in kind of an ugly fashion. It's only a fair way of putting it, actually. It's kind of an ugly loop. It loops around. It just basically follows the uh, the course of the bay, and I don't feel that it... Yeah, it's okay. It, 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 again, it, it's doing the job that it's there to... It just doesn't really look pretty. Also not pretty is, oh look at this ship, perfect timing, oh I don't, yeah, I don't plan this. This one is taking that sharp turning there because we don't have any shipping triangles. So uh, yes, it's going to do the sharp turning and then of course we've got the loop around the bay of course. Water flow in the start square, well yeah, we've got plenty of strong water flow. This is strong water flow. So if you want to pump and draw, you're going to have no problems at all. Unless, of course, you put your sewage upstream. <laughs> then uh, then you might have some problems. But that the problems will be your problems, not the map's problems. Anyway, this is very nice. Remember, check out the tree painting as I'm doing all this. This is very nicely done indeed. Now, let's start off with a couple of the glitches. Like This is out, definitely out of 25 tiles. Elevate at the ground level, clunking the ground flat. Uh, causing some ziggy zags going on there. There's an essential lighthouse you probably just saw. Everybody's favourite factory you've definitely just saw. A little village down there as well. That's okay. Just like dotty, dotty, dotty. And then when you put three of these vanilla pier things together, it's very clear that they're identical. And very, very rarely will you get away with putting three of them together so closely. And it not looking a bit, yeah, forced. Over here, ooh, it's a castle. Oh, uh, hang on. Uh, see, this kind of works a bit better. I prefer this than the three put together. That kind of like sells you a story and another essential lighthouse. It sells you a bit of a story. How did that end up like that? You know, but it's believable. Then we have the castle. Loving the shape of the castle. I do have one little talking point of the castle. Despite loving the shape, have a look at the two doors on these, these two towers. Right, okay. Now have a look at the two doors on... These two towers. Now have a look at the two doors on these two. Oh, this one tower. And the one behind it. There we go, that one there. Now have a look at you. I think you've got the pattern. 
these have been spammed. I would like to have seen them placed with with a little bit of thought as to what sort of direction the the door of the tower probably would have faced. It's just a little thing. It's just a little things, you know. It'll score you a little extra quarter of a point here and a quarter of a point there. Anyway, um, so yeah, just loving the shape and the tree painting. My goodness me, uh, is is superbulous. Oh, down here, forgot about this. Now this little area down here. Look, it's uh, abandoned. I reckon I know the reason why this in real life was abandoned. And I've got the opportunity to show you. Are you ready? Are you ready for a little backstory? <laughs> I do hope so. Because this one, I actually loaded the game three times just to verify that this is actually a, a, a recurrent thing. Right, so this is when you load the map up right from the start. Before you start the simulation, look how bumpy and lumpy that water is. So this uh, this shows to be a little bit of last minute editing of the uh, the mouth. Maybe it was a completely enclosed caldera at one point, possibly. And then they open that up to allow shipping to come in, possibly. Anyway, I'm now going to speed the game up and we'll have a little look at the flooding that will happen when you launch the game. Now, it only happens on this little corner here. Uh, it does flood the highway, so you're going to have a little bit of stop traffic for a short while it won't it's not very long <laughs> and you probably won't notice it because you'll be focusing on the start square but if you're wondering why you got no traffic coming from this side of the map for the first i don't know uh, five ten minutes of the game then this will be why but after those first five or ten minutes of the game depending on the speed that you play of course after that it'll be fine it's just a little bit of early flooding that's all we can forgive it but yes, uh, if you do any any late editing to your Caldera and don't let the game play through on the editor, then uh, you can have a little bit of a little bit of an issue like that. Anyway, meanwhile, back in the start square, we've got an absolute beaut. Especially if you're rebuilding New Zealand after a flooding. And that is the New Zealand Victorians won by Seabud. This is a lovely little pack of... Uh, for bungalow things, they are just absolutely the cutest thing. That's exactly what I say when I look in the mirror in the morning. Ah, factoids! <laughs> because factoids. As we are in Calderon Bay, why not Pedro Calderon de la Barca? Born 17th of January 1600, died 25th of May 1681. Was a Spanish dramatist, poet, writer and knight of the Order of Santiago. He's known as one of the most distinguished Baroque writers of the Spanish Golden Age, especially for his plays. Pedro Calderón de la Barca, famous for his writings. And completely unknown to me because I am completely uneducated in Spanish dramatists of the 1600s. But I learned something today and that's what the factoids are about. Anyway, New Zealand Victorians number one by Seabird. Love it. Seabird. I tried to stretch that one out to the assets thing. It didn't work. You need a longer name. Please. <laughs> Please, Zach. Ne never change your names. It, I think it loses a little bit of the quality of your character if you change your names too, especially too often. Change it once. <laughs> Back to it. Don't change it now. <laughs> Back to it. No, where are we? Um, vote on the map. That's the one. Not Back to it. My brain's in, like, stall mode. Link in the description, link in the top right corner of the screen. Your vote really does count. We use it at the end of the month for the viewer's choice. Top 10. And not enough of you vote. Get over there and vote. Want to see more people voting, please. If I go to all this effort, it's the very least that you can do. Today's map, aesthetically, is a very interesting shape. I'm going to give it that. Uh, the tree painting has to be as spoken up for. And I think it's going to fall into that, um, I mean, uh, middly low four-star category. It's, it's nice. It's memorable. And it's done to a pretty decent standard. I think there's a few little tweaks that can be done. But you know what? It's pretty much, you know. Detailing. A uh, big shout out for the tree painting. But the rest of it is just okay. So I'm going to go three stars. I'm going to go towards the topper end of that one. And with the gameplay, again, it doesn't quite grab me, but I think it's definitely a playable map. I'm going to go at the very top end of three stars. It's it's probably four stars, 
probably, but I'm going to go top it. I'm going to go with my heart on this one. Calderon Bay by Adistar. Yeah, he's, uh, I'm, I'm, no, I'm sticking with three. <laughs> Just going with my instincts. I've done a few of these, and my instincts are always where they are. And then you guys tell me off, and then I change my instincts. And then you guys tell me off and change my instincts. <sighs> I love this community. You're great. <laughs> it's so rewarding. It's so rewarding. Anyway, uh, do you want to be rewarded? Your chance to show you're part of the 20 and out elite. Use the word they in the comments to prove you're part of the 20 and out elite to the other elitists. And I'll be back tomorrow with another map in the Watch Map series. Have a great day and I'll see you very, very soon.